I found Nemo, and I'm going to show you how to find him too. I can't resist being drawn to these colorful and cute little guys that live in and around sea anemones. They are called anemone fish, or clownfish, or as Pixar Studios famously called him, Nemo. Anemones look like plants, but they are really animals. Their arms have stingers to stun and kill small fish, crustaceans, and plankton, which they eat. So what are Nemos doing in such a dangerous neighborhood? Through the ages, the fish and the anemones have worked out an arrangement called symbiosis. It's sort of a you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours deal. The stinging arms protect the Nemos from bigger fish farther up the food chain. The anemone fish, in turn, protect the anemone from predators like butterfly fish. They also keep the anemone clean. And as an added bonus, the anemone eats the Nemo poop. You. But how come the Nemos don't get stung? Well, they are able to produce a slimy, sticky mucus that covers their whole body that protects them from the stingers. Pretty cool, huh? And here's another curious thing about anemone fish. They are all born as boys. But as they grow up, one becomes a breeding female and another becomes a breeding male. If the female dies, one of the males changes sex to replace her. Talk about family planning. As you can see in the video, there are many varieties of anemone fish. And these are only a few of the 30 recognized species. The colors and patterns vary between species and even within the same species. Some fish inhabit only certain types of anemones while others are not so choosy. And sometimes more than one species will share its anemone with another. Nemos are found in most of the warm seas of the world but not the Caribbean. I wonder why that is. So how did I find Nemo? Well, just remember where he lives. Nemo is in the middle of the anemone.